So in this video, we're going to talk about shared server. The first thing I want to do is set up a simple shared server uh, configuration. So the first of all, let's look at our init.org parameters. So I'm going to log into the database. And um, this shows our shared server parameters. Um, but let's also look at our dispatcher show parameter dispatcher. And to set up shared servers, all we have to do is um, is do the following. Let's go ahead and do that. System set shared servers. Dispatchers equal to protocol with TCP. Dispatchers equals five. Now let's just do the. Let's show the parameters. Now show. Okay, so we've actually turned on uh, um, shared server at this point. Let's do some queries to prove this. $50 shared server. We see there's five shared servers set up. five dispatchers set up and actually we can correct these processes so let's go ahead and do that for fun These are the shared server processes. Let's um, grep for the dispatchers. And I want three of them. Three of those numbers. And there are the dispatchers. Okay, that's great. Um, let's set up some TNS names entries. So, uh, um, let's look at the current TNS names entries. Okay, we already have one TNS names entry, it's sort of the generic one for the database. So, but I'm going to create two others. Okay, so I've created two um, TNS names entry. One's called dedicated, one's called shared. Let's do a TNS ping, make sure there's that can work. Shared. Okay, so now let's test these out.
can see that it was dedicated. I, I uh, connected in as a dedicated with a dedicated server. Now let's do the same thing uh, with the shared. And so um, we can, I've shown we can set uh, login as either a uh, shared server or a dedicated server. And that's it for this portion of the episode it, or video. In the next section, I want to do a more complicated um, example with um, dispatchers. So in this specific section, I, I want to do a more complicated uh, um, scenario where the dispatcher is listening on a specific um, listener and a specific service. Uh, um, so first of all, I rebuilt the database, so let's see what we have here in terms of listeners. So we don't have a listener at all, so we're going to create two listeners one listen on 1521 and one on 1522 add listener 1521 let's go ahead and do let's go say finish and then cat listener dot listener dot aura now we have one listener let's go ahead and create a second one We're going to listen on 1522. Let's see. Okay, good. So now let's um, actually let's do this. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and. Um, Create a TNS names entry. And SCA. Let's just create a generic one. CM. Now we have a, a TNS names entry. Let's go ahead and amend this now. TNS names Aura. Let's go ahead and call this shared. We're going to call this shared. Good. Let's also copy the listener definitions into the TNS names.
2, 15.2. Alright, now let us um, go ahead and update the database and hit .org parameters. look at um, show parameter Let's just show the parameter again okay now let's go ahead and do show parameter shared server it's not set so let's make it Dispatchers. Dispatchers is equal to five. Okay, so we've done that, but we've not created the services. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, show parameter service names alter system set service names is equal to OCM. Let's bounce our server, our listeners, ls and our CTL. Stop listener. And ls and our CTL. Stop listener two. And let's restart them. Okay, now let's just see what we have in terms of uh, uh, shared servers and dispatchers. Select name, P -A -E -A -R, uh, status. Okay, so now we have dispatchers. Let's look at the services.
dispatchers there. So, okay, great. Let's do... Um, Good. Now let's do, let's connect to these databases. SQL plus system. server So, and now we logged in as shared. So, um, let's do one more thing. Okay, so, uh, um, so the database listens, uh, um, all the listeners, of course, um, but the dispatcher listens only on 1522. And that's all I wanted to show for this particular um, session.